and today I am back to playing King's Quest Chapter 1, A Night to Remember. We did Part 1 yesterday and today we are going to continue on to doing Part 2. I really love how this game is voice acted, so I won't have to talk a whole lot. Diamond Tree was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous, fantastical, floating island. <laughs> but... It's well worth it. I wonder what will happen if I go the opposite way. Grandpa! You can't leave Triumph! Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a mount. After tumbling, um, I mean gracefully, rappelling down the cliff in the last episode, I lost my mount, so... Oh. Oh ho, look at the fancy knights. Ooh, he looks cool. <laughs> hey, over here. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Indeed. What is this? That odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Oh. I can't get across. Well. Uh, what's that? La la la, strolling through the woods, looking for a mouthpiece, I guess. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. Pity. I love the graphics in this. It's like being in a storybook. Ooh, what's that? I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. Oh. Shame. The only two left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. <laughs> Why do I suspect we'll go around using it on everything? That wheel seemed freshly broken. Oh. Stop back, you dirty! 
three thieves. Wah! Oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... No! Oh! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. Tell me, is it more of a... Oh! Or a... Oh! oh! Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you... I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Ah, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> well, now that I've molded over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well. You best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait! You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. <laughs> now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say! Uh -huh. I'll bet a fine strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude! Do you have any questions for... me? <laughs> I don't think I want him to repeat that. Uh, nope. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Perhaps there was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad, I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Ha. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. These are terrible. Overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. <laughs> I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. Not that way, then. marks don't look like a good sign. <laughs> good job, Graham. person in Daventry, not at the parade. A bakery. And it smelled delicious. Ah ha! I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. Except the 
baker's not here. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. If I can leave a... I decided to leave some coins for the bread. Perfect. The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Shortcut. Right. Okay. Seems safe. I actually wasn't sure I'd like this art style when I first saw it, but I like it. Do I really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. I thought this might do the trick. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarbles noose this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharged. I've got just a fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this'll do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are mm -hmm. you interested? Snake salesman. No. no, thanks. Not really interested. Are you sure? They'll charge you double at the tournament. They're not as trustworthy as I am. <laughs> the price still seems really high to me. Okay, okay, you're twisting my turban here. I didn't pay you for such a deal, Deliberator. Final offer, half off the previously discounted rate. Come on, treat yourself, boy. Well, what is the actual price? Well, what do you know? It costs exactly that much. Thank you. Fortuitous <laughs> fate be you, my boy. Here you are. Now, let's vamanoose from this Meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> Jerk. <clears throat> Mr. Fancy Cakes! Ah, heal! Halt! Abyss! Stop! <laughs> We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch your head on exit. Th th thanks for the hospitality. <laughs> no time to lounge, my boy. Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step. We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape. Bon voyage, buttercup. Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. <laughs> back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. These <laughs> knights will the the night. figure out a solution soon. And then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I can find a way across. Ahem. 
Daventry Decree 6645 <laughs> states that a royal guard once commanded must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Distress. <laughs> oh, what was that addendum again? Addendum 237A states that a royal guard can only leave his post if someone is in distress and is in need of assistance. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, let me go find some distress. Come at me, bees! Okay. Stay off those rocks! It's dangerous! Oh, really? <laughs> oh, learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope, me. You wouldn't be the first time I've corrected. This tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the Let's fact keep that I'm busy. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Run. Okay, I kind of feel mean. Okay, maybe now. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. <coughs> your hero is thinking. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Um. Okay. You do it. Um, I can do it. Or not. Wow. Um, okay. Another horn and another missing piece. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> my bow is brand new, so it, uh, it still needs to be broken in. Where did he get a bow? Did I miss the part where we got bows? Uh, maybe the tree. Yeah. Up. Oh no. Oh. Well, he's strong. Over here, buddy. <laughs> What a jerk. Oh. It still could work. Those knights run off too. Oh, 
Imagine me! <laughs> Like real life. <laughs> I left the hatch and lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatch. It gets a tad annoying. Huh? Uh. Graham, right? Yes. Um, how did you yes, know Yes, Guy from name? the Princess Bride. Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me. A creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, what's your favorite <laughs> color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Wow. I, what's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. Let me know how I can help. To the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And Yay. I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, pocket boy. 
The tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if, and only if, the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? <laughs> well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. <clears throat> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, he gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. <sighs> what was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. I'll leave you be. Go away. How charming. Is of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then, a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. <laughs> if that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run, no time to think, only action! I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash, treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me, it was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grrrr! It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand, I escaped and adventured onward. Oh, delightful. brother. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. Hey there, I'm okay. Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... you're... Uh... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. 
So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. Sounds exotic. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Ajaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Ajaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. <sighs> oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither <laughs> of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. <laughs> Failed itself. It bared its teeth. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo <laughs> Ramon Jr. The third, hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it, free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny, because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Did you hear the crowds? They all cheer for me. <laughs> they love me. We all love Whisper. Okay. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny! We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right, next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Achaka! Okay, 
Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. III of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Yay! Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. <laughs> now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh, over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous <laughs> eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. <laughs> Whisper! Mm. Ooh. Whisper can do it! So that's where I'm going to stop for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. And feel free to check us out on Facebook as well. Have a great day.